As Toastmasters, you've got to appreciate the value of words. What give words their meaning and their value? You know, when Marianne spoke earlier tonight, part of what I thought she was saying about the difference between the trivial novel and the classic is, let's get real. Let's get real. It's been said that if you and I agree on everything, one of us is unnecessary. <laughs> what I feel is dangerous in American culture today is it's unacceptable, to go to the title of my talk, politically incorrect to say anything that's going to bother anybody. I understand that everybody is not going to agree with me. But today is my salvation because some things have been eating at me and I want to talk about them. And you are the victims. <laughs> <laughs> so here's a couple things. First of all, when, when you talk about words and things like this, is anybody lazy? You know, that's not a nice thing to say about somebody, that they're lazy. Well, here's my feeling. You're 36 years old. You never go to work. Mom and dad who don't have too much money are supporting you. You're not just lazy. You're a lazy jerk. <laughs> that is politically incorrect. <laughs> There's a guy right now, and I, I remember when I was coming out of college, there was Joe Namath and things like that. And if any of you are old enough, you remember some of the things Joe Namath did. And I looked back on that time, like uh, was uh, mentioned earlier tonight, you know, looking back on that time. I think that I was blessed that I wasn't that good and make that much money so I could have said all the stupid things I was thinking then. <laughs> However, you may think, I will never recover from tonight. We'll see. Hmm. But you know, there's a guy playing football right now, Tebow. He has some beliefs. And so the media comes in and goes, well, is it all right to have beliefs? Is it okay for him to assume this posture? Hey, we all ought to praise God. Oh, no. Some may be atheists. So if you're an atheist, just take a day off from not believing in what isn't there and rejoice in this. There is a man in his 20s who's an excellent athlete making 5 or $10 million a year who thinks, now this is wild, but he thinks that there might be something out there more important than himself. Can you imagine such a thing? <laughs> so you say, Bill seems a little intense. <laughs> Bill is a little intense tonight. Not T-E-N-T-S, the other guy. <laughs> now, most of you are probably aware that some Marines took video of themselves urinating on dead enemies. Now, let's just take a minute here and talk about Marines. A young man volunteers to serve his country. They take him from his family and his friends and they drag him halfway around the world. They train him and they equip him with the best weapons available. Why do they do that? So they can kill the bad guys. So then, what we do is, if they do this, and they do it well, we salute them, we've already trained them, we pay them, and we call them heroes. Now, just between you and me, if there's something that you want to do to me that's mean or evil, if you could postpone it until after I'm dead, I'd like that better. <laughs> we, sometimes, we, you know, we got to put things in the right frame. <laughs> Okay, so I have this need to say something because I think it needs to be said. And I think it would be much better if some military officer who has enough rank to want to keep his job and enough guts to risk losing it said this. 
But here's what I think needs to be said. And I think, when I think about this, I'll tell you what I'm thinking about in the background. 9-11. You think, if you would for me, if you think, what's important to you? I can tell you, unequivocally, there are people in this world that want to rip that away from you. There are people in this world that want to kill your children, your family. It's not some kind of figment of the imagination, although it's probably politically incorrect to say that. So here's what I think needs to be said. We are the United States Marine Corps. And anybody who attacks, threatens to attack, or assists an attack on the United States of America, its citizens, or its soil, we will come, we will kill you, and we will piss on your corpse. <laughs> because we are the United States Marine Corps. I'm <laughs>